Today, 50% of the world's population is under 30, approximately, and many of them face challenges unlike before any generation before has ever faced. And one of the key things that made it even more difficult is the advent of the pandemic. And so during the pandemic, one of the few silver linings that we see is that it made using digital technology much more inherently uh, accustomed to in, within the system. So for example, education, within employment, you see many students learning online as opposed to learning just only offline or through physical means and basis. Though one of the key things that we have discussed today during the ITU summit and really kept it on the anchors for youth development is how can we utilize digital technology in a way that actually doesn't affect young people's development also negatively, because there are also dangers. And so one of the best ways for young people today to really jump the stages and jump through the challenges that the pandemic has presented themselves with is the, through digital technology. And this is an amazing platform for that. As a board member myself in the Generation Connect Visionaries Board, and as a Saudi, uh, we see a lot of collaboration because when you're talking about Saudi youth in general, about 65 to about 70% of the population is below the age of 35. That's a lot of young people. And we share many of the challenges as well as the opportunities that could be coming in through digital inclusion and through digital connectivity. So there's a lot of opportunities to connect. There's also a lot of initiatives currently within Saudi Arabia that focus on youth. One of the main ones is the MISCA Global Forum, which is the Crown Princess Foundation's main initiative to engage global youth in bettering their future. And there is an event happening in November where we're really engaging with young people from all over the world. So of course, the Generation Connect board members are invited, as well as people here from ITU. So I work at the Mohammed bin Salman Foundation, MISC, which, an, which is a foundation that works on enabling and empowering young people in Saudi Arabia, but also beyond. Today, for example, we talked about the Global Youth Index, a piece of research that we've done with more than 30,000 young people from 30 countries around the world. This research told us a lot about what young people are facing during COVID-19, some of the challenges. And today, with, during our session, we really brought young people together to look at some of the issues and how we can, as global citizens, look at solutions together and as a young person myself we really advocate for change and the betterment of all young people across all the different issues to make sure that we get to the future that we need. My first impression of the Generation Connect Global Youth Summit is the energy. It's amazing. Everyone here is ambitious, they're excited, they're finally getting, you know, to speak, to represent themselves, to you know, ignite their voice, and I'm just super excited to be here among amazing individuals and get to learn and get to uh, experience this. I'm so excited after attending the Generation Connect Summit. We had several dialogues with people from around the world from more than 150 countries, and we have discussed how we can contribute to some critical global issues like security, education, healthcare, and climate change. 